Hi all, Mass Banker from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today we are looking at protecting the supply cable and the driver cable and fan cable for the large dual resonant solid state Tesla coil, the three meter tall one, the version three. And uh, what I have normally done is wrap all my cables in tin foil, and that's just a lot of work to do every time. So I want to um, shield it make some kind of uh, package with these uh, three cables in and for that I have all kinds of uh, braided copper shielding materials here. Um, I have something here that's just single-sided but then I also have this which is a long tube and as you can see this should be able to accommodate these three cables. And now uh, stuffing five meters of uh, rubber cable through this is not going to happen. So uh, the way we're going to do this is uh, use a long piece of um, electrical, yeah, electrical installation, plastic tubing, that we're simply going to um, put the sock all around that after we have first put the cable in the whole length through this and then just use it to put it on which is actually the exact same way that you make sausages, so yeah. Simple and effective and just works. So first we have to uh, remove all the end plugs so we can get the cables into the long tube. I got my three rubber cables bundled up now. And what is going to be a channel here is that rubber cable does have its own life. You do not really control what it wants to do. So if it wants to twist, it will twist. And getting three cables parallel, well, that's probably going to do, make some kind of issue. So I have my five meters of uh, shielding braided copper here. And I'm just... I have to slide it down to the five meter mark on my cable and then just start pulling off the braided shielding at the mark and then I should end up at the end here again with my yeah braided copper up to here and I have to make some kind of um, termination and make it be being able to being plugged into my grounding board here or oh, yeah master grounding terminal just lots of brass so let's see how this goes Hey, that went much smoother than expected. And look at this. That looks extremely nice. So uh, five meters of uh, shielded rubber cable now. All I need to do is add some um, mechanical protection because this is after all not a super thick braided copper quality. So what I wanted to do is actually use some uh, cheap gardening materials. This, um, I think it's called fiber cloth, which is a pretty rigid uh, plastic cloth used for putting under, yeah, if you uh, put down bricks in, uh, in walkways and such to avoid uh, all kinds of uh, plants growing up through it. And uh, maybe just a few layers of this putting around and then sew it up with a nice long seam, then that should give some uh, good physical protection. And then we have some electrical shielding on the inside. Mm. So I forgot to time lapse uh, the previous uh, step here, but that was putting on the 230 volt AC plugs. This goes into my safety box. This goes into my cooling fan and a driver on the Tesla coil. And we have the AC mains supply. Now to terminate the um, copper braid here, I soldered on to uh, earth also braided connections here, just two for redundancy and then a cable tie to relieve it of stress on the braid itself. And that should be enough uh, cable length to connect to my three connections on the coil itself. Of course the fiber optic cable will have to run Underneath this, uh, I did not want to put that into this uh, braided copper here. That's up to too fragile to really move that much around with this heavy cable. So yeah, all those left now is getting uh, the um, cloth sewed on and maybe put some stencil on it and then it's done.
here it is the finished cable pack the bundle is complete the copper braided sock have been pulled over the three cables so i hope you enjoyed this small project and i hope it inspires you to protect your cables as well so until next time see ya Thank you.